Good morning. I think it's after eight. Don't quote me on that though. Um, I know it was like quarter after seven, seven thirty when I woke up, but I've also done laundry, cleaned the kitchen, and now I'm sitting out here drinking coffee. Oh, I responded to all my comments on YouTube. I went through all my emails and posted on Instagram. Now I'm drinking coffee. Well, drinking coffee while doing that. I'm uh, gonna probably in a few start editing the vlog. First, I have to set up this Black and Decker 12 inch compact mower right there. I'm going to film that as a separate video, but <clears throat> I've got to take it out of the box and I'm pretty sure I probably have to charge the batteries before I can use it. And I'm going to wait just a little bit longer to use it because I think the grass is still a little wet. But, um, my plants are dying. It's hot. It's humid. i got to turn the hose on and get some water to this stuff. I mean, my side gardens are doing okay, but I'm struggling with everything else, I'll be honest. My cactuses are doing good, but they like heat, <laughs> so we'll have this. Um, last night was rough. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not even going to lie. It was rough. Um, we went to the beach to see the fireworks, and I was excited to go. I was super excited to go. But we got there, and of course, Lacey wanted to go hang out with her friends and do the friends thing, which she's... 14 or going to be 14 so I get it but that meant I had to sit alone on the beach and the last time was with him so it was really hard really really hard it was the the part that I think kind of got me the most was I was surrounded by so many people it was like packed the beach was packed from one end to the other with people but I felt so alone it was crazy like it was just like everybody else was a blur and I was just kind of there by myself. So there was that. I mean, I'm okay. I, I just, I mean, you know you're going to have moments like this. So this is just what happened. So I think I bawled the whole way through the fireworks. <laughs> but again, we'll have this. And then we got stuck at the beach. Oh my God. Well, I, tr to my credit, I tried to get the girls to leave earlier, but they were hungry. So they wanted to eat. So we went to grottos after. They were done at Funland, and that was at like 10 after 12, no, 11.30. And we got done there about quarter after 12. So then we went to catch the bus, and the buses, up until midnight, they were running like 10 buses as shuttles back and forth to the transfer station. But after midnight, they started back on the regular route. Well, the buses are supposed to go every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes. So when we got to the bus stop, a bus was leaving, but there was still a bunch of people waiting for a bus. Well, we ended up waiting another... It had to be another 45 minutes before another bus came. So that bus came and then that filled up and with the cutoff was right at me, Lacey and, and her friend. So like the three of us could not fit on the bus. So then we had to sit and I was like, I can't do this. It was like, we got home at quarter of two in the morning and I live two miles from the beach. I could have walked home faster, but I had two kids. So we called the neighbor, the neighbor saved a day. He's always up at like two in the morning every day. So. Anyway, he came and saved us, thank God, because that was terrible. So I don't know what happened and who dropped the ball at the bus station last night, but that was craziness. So there's that. Anyway, sorry I had do something um I just want coffee on my shirt 
<laughs> oh well, I'm just gonna be cleaning anyway, so it's not a big deal. I work later, four to midnight, four to midnight tonight, four to midnight tomorrow night, and then I'm seven to three on Saturday, and then I'm off, because then I'm off Sunday, because it's Lacey's birthday. While I was coming down, I have to order a cake. I'm not getting her any more presents, but she at least needs cake and ice cream. Or maybe I'll just do an ice cream cake. That sounds like a better idea. But I don't know, a good cake with some ice cream is good too. <laughs> um, what else is going on? That's about it. Um, we gotta refilm that Dollar Tree Challenge video. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I don't know. I guess I thought she would be excited, but she was really tired when I got her up. She, I guess she's been staying up late. So she just was not feeling it <laughs> at all. Once I got her into Wal once I got her into Walmart, she started to wake up a bit and then she went home, walked the dogs, and then well, she was fine, but she just was not feeling that challenge at all. <laughs> I'm like I, I was like I was in shock. I thought for sure she would just be like makeup and nail polish and I don't know beads and craft stuff because she was like after the fact she was like oh well can I get some beads oh well <laughs> like why didn't you like I said I don't know she's gonna be 14 you, you cannot ever predict what a teenager is gonna be like ever <laughs> but yeah so yesterday was a good day I mean we had we had a really good day and even the fireworks were nice and going to the beach wasn't that bad. It was just most emotional for me because I just, anytime we've ever gone, I mean, that's, besides when I went with Lara, that's the last time I've been to the beach without him or the boardwalk without him. Yeah, because I went with Lara, so I was with somebody, but this time I wasn't with anybody. I mean, Lacey was there, but she was with her friends. So that was no fun for me. <laughs> and I don't blame her. I mean, she's going to be 14. She doesn't want to hang out with mom all the time. She wants to hang out with her friends. So there's that. And we did spend the whole day together. So that was, it was nice. It was a nice day off. All right. Well, this is getting absolutely nothing accomplished. And I'm going to film this video where I open this new power tool. Girl's gotta love a new power tool. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Oh my god, the most beautiful butterfly was just on this porch. And he just, he was hanging out over there. And then he flew around my head. But he, I don't know where he went. I've been seeing butterflies all morning. I had a white one. But, sorry, I'm out of breath. I've been running around this yard and watering things and cleaning up and uh, it's hot but I enjoy doing it so it's not so bad but wait look I just saw him <laughs> I don't know anyway so I, I've seen like I had a white one following me around the house and I had there was a monarch, and then this one, I don't know if it's a monarch or not, but it was like black with bright orange. Like bright, like, like bright orange. But anyway, so this looks like a hot mess, but it was planted to be a hot mess. And one of the reasons for that is, is because we were planting vegetables in here for a couple of years, and then they said to rotate crops. So we spread a bunch of just like random flower seeds in there. And obviously we've had some stuff come up. Plus I have sunflowers in there. But my goal is, is I'm hoping that it will resurface the soil so that next year I can put vegetables back in and they'll be okay. So once this season's done, I'm going to basically chop all this down and clean it out and then redo the dirt in it um this one i really like because it is 98 percent flowers 
I mean, we have some sunflowers growing. They're not doing too well because there's a lot of shade here. But these purple things are like amazing. I have no idea what any of this stuff is except for it's a wildflower. But some of these flowers are just really, really, really pretty. Like I even have this, this thing here, which is really pretty. So, and it's attracting the butterflies and so on and so forth. So this is the part of the lawn that I've already mowed and I mowed and weed whacked in this area. So that's, as you can see, it does a pretty decent job. Um, I went over and turned the hose on and watered everything because everything was, look, we have a butterfly. Hold on. Let me see if I can get him. Let me see if I can get him. I'm going to do a separate video so that I can do it. I'm still really hot <laughs> um, which it is what it is uh, so did a little bit more in the yard got more mowing done the batteries on the new thing I have to let them charge for like a solid four hours and let them get a full charge before I use them I just am impatient so but I did get a good chunk of it done and I freaking love that thing guys like that thing is amazing but anyway, you'll have to check out my review video on that. So, but I've been sitting here cleaning my room and getting things cleaned up and put away and laundry and blah, 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 bed made, blah, blah, blah. And I had something on my mind and I just wanted to share it with you guys because it goes into what the What If Soldiers is all about. Lately, I have been making sure to make an extra attempt to message my friends and my loved ones and my family more often than I used to in the past. And there's a lot of reasons behind that. One, I never did it enough. You know, I didn't. We were always together, so that was enough. So I really didn't reach out to anybody else or, I mean, we never asked for help and I still won't because I just, it's who I am. Like if I really absolutely need help, I'll ask. But if I can work my way through it, I will. I was brought up to problem solve and to solve issues and to figure out on my own how to make it work. So, but you know, now that I'm alone, <laughs> eh, I mean, alone's a strong word, but now that I don't have him, um, I have to reach out to other people because the bottom line is, is life's too short and you need to tell the people that you care about, friends, family, loved ones, new friends, old friends, you know, anybody that means a lot to you in your life, you need to stay in contact with them. You know, so many times people say, well, they don't contact me. Why should I contact them? Because somebody has got to make that first step and it should be you. And when I say you, I'm talking to everybody. So if everybody made more of an attempt to message their friends, you know, I, at least once a week, you know, sending a message, hey, hope your week's going good. Hey, I hope you've had a great day. Or hey, good luck on whatever such and such that you're doing. You know, Facebook's one thing, like you can send those messages and stuff and, and stuff, but take, your, take the time to reach out personally, text message. I, you can even private message them on Facebook, um, but, you know, don't get sucked into the group thing and doing and, and, and commenting. I mean, those, do those too, but make an attempt to talk to your loved ones, to connect with them more often. Um, and I'm trying to do that because, especially now, because I need them more now than I ever did. I used to think I didn't have friends.
I had to put myself back together. I don't want to sit here and ball on camera. I've done enough of that. So, you know, I used to think I didn't have friends, you know, and it was the only one I had was him, but that was never true. So now that, you know, I, they've been brought back into my life, I want to keep them there or new ones have been brought into my life. Because through YouTube, I've met some amazing people. I've met Leah and Mr. P and Lulu. And I mean, and I, I talk to you know, these people mo almost daily. Um, you know, and others on here, you know, I'm connecting with new people all the time and, and finding out that the, how, sh you know, how small the world is. So when you get new people in your life and, you find new friends, you know, make an effort to keep them in your life. You don't have to message everybody every day, once a week. You know, you send your mom a text. I, I've been talking to my mom about every other day now. Um, my dad, I've been, even if I can't call him and talk to him, I've been sending him messages just to tell him I love him. My brother, you know, just to say, hey, I love you. You know what I mean? Um, my friends. You know, it's not hard to take five minutes out of your day and shoot a quick little I love you text to those you care about. That has been on my mind because I don't think people realize how much that means, not just to the other people, but to you. Like, it means a lot to me to connect with all those people and to have those friends that if I'm having a bad day, I can text them and be like, this really sucks. or if something wonderful is happening, I can text them and be like, guess what? You know, and that's been somewhat of a saving grace to me lately. But I also want to throw out there that if you are somebody that does not have anybody that is messaging you on a regular basis, if you feel like you are alone and nobody cares about you and you feel like you need somebody, then reach out to somebody and tell them that. Be like, hey, me, shoot me a message. You know, um, I will post my my email down in the comments below. I will attempt to post my Instagram and Facebook. I don't have them on the iPad, so I have to figure out how to get the URLs and get them to the uh, to edit it. But I, you know, my I will put my email down. Shoot me an email. I can write an email quick. I can give you my phone number so that, you know, you can shoot me a text if you just need somebody to talk to. Um, especially in a world where, you know, suicide's so hard, high and people just feel so alone. And that's not fair for anybody, you know? And it's like, and if, if I can be a friend to somebody that doesn't have one, I will do that. So. I just had to get that message out there today. So if you're getting a lot of text messages from me lately, or you feel like, oh wow, all of a sudden she's sending me a lot of messages, that's why. Because I don't want to cut anybody out of my life, ever. Unless, of course, you need to be cut. I mean, there are times where there are people you need to cut out of your life, or you need to not have in your life. I mean, I, am, I know this. You know, hopefully you can help them and not have to do that. But there are times that that happens. But yeah, so anyway, that's that. I need to pick a what if soldiers quote of the day. So there's that. It's gold and shiny and sparkly. And after I do this guys, I'll put my bathing suit on and I'm gonna to go to the pool and I'm gonna take a dip and no I ain't gonna film it I can't I gotta let my phone charge it's all been dead <laughs> so um I do have a waterproof case so I will get some pool footage this year I promise so while they were saying among themselves it cannot be done it was done What if quote of the day? So I'm gonna put that on my board and, um, you know, hopefully you can get some inspiration from that. I love you guys. See you soon.